Hello and welcome to another episode of Build, Fix, Eat. Today we are going to build this rocket stove. A universal rocket stove that allows for multiple attachments and has secondary combustion. As you can see the... The grate comes off. Has an easy clean out on the bottom. And we're also going to make several of these attachments so that in the next week or so we can we can build some stuff to add on to it. Maybe a smoker, maybe an oven, maybe a griddle, who knows? Alright, let's get at it. Okay, we're going to cut the main stack first. Okay, I'm going to cut out the section where the where the feed goes, the wood feed. Okay, we got most of our parts cut out. We are going to put in the primary air intake and the portion that holds the, the fire, the coals off the ground. Okay, the bottom's welded on. Okay, now we're going to put the secondary air holes which are going to allow air to come in this way on either side and then push in. I don't know exactly where to do it. This is the first time I tried this so I'm guessing nine and a half inches from the bottom. I'm going to tack the feed chute on now. Put my torch angle up. I'm going to weave this, keeping the puddle up so I can bridge it. Okay, we're going to tap the secondary air port, so I'm going to use some 2x2 two two angle iron. I ground off all the mill scale. We're going to be doing a bunch of tacking here before we weld it out, and uh, tacks on mill scale can sometimes be problematic. So gone ahead and done that. Okay, we're going to set this bottom on so you can see the plan is air will come in through here, come into the primary where the fire is. And there's enough gap here, it's also going to shoot up through the secondary. Alright, let's fit it up and weld it. So you see, probably you can see it better now. Get in here and up, and this will carry it.
All right, well, we're ready to weld this up, but there's so many pieces, when I do, it's gonna to wanna to twist and buckle all over the place. So I'm gonna be staggering welds all over the place as I go around. On these, these tight joints here, I'm gonna to have to open them up with a grinder because I really don't want any reinforcement on there with the weld afterwards. So we're gonna open it up a little bit. I'm gonna focus on these first because when I weld the sides, it's gonna to wanna to pull these out and there's only a couple of tacks. So we're gonna put a couple little beads on there and then we'll weld the sides and move around on the bottom. So we're gonna get going. All right, time to put the caps on the uh, secondary intakes here. Okay, get the setup on the table. I've made sure everything's level and square. Now we're gonna lay out, we're gonna put a piece of angle iron on here to to fit up the guide that goes on here, the clamp. Now we're going to fit up the universal attachment. All right, now that the first one's all tacked up, we're gonna trim off the top, because I want this to sit flush. All right, there's a the second one. Out the burrs. Gonna drill some holes in here for for air intake. Ah, 
I don't know if it's enough holes or too many holes, but I can always weld them up or drill them bigger. We'll see how it works when we fire it up. Okay, now we're going to build the lip that goes on the wood chute. I want to be able to put a, a gasket on it because I hate, I hate it on the last one how sometimes smoke would come out of it. So let's give this a go. Okay, now we're going to fit it on. Okay, now we're going to work on the removable stove top. Fits nice. Now we're going to put the grill on. The grill's just going to be some bars. Alright, let's get at it. There it is cleaned up. Works pretty good. Feels solid. It's not moving around. Comes out pretty easy, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, on to some other finishing touches. Alright, well, we've got her painted up, looking pretty good, we're going to let that dry for a little bit and then, uh, then we'll fire it up. One nice thing about the top coming off is you can start it up by feeding wood through the bottom. We got this door here that's a clean out, but it's also kind of a choke. It'll let a lot of air go in at first. I'll throw a couple bits in there. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can the secondary burn is working.
Thanks for watching. I'm really pleased with how this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, in the coming weeks, we're going to build some attachments that go on here. Alright, we'll see you all in the next one.